Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rune here, back with a new Borderlands 3 build video. And today, we are going over the update for Hustler Racer Zane. Now, it's not much of a skill tree update, more of a lot has gone on over since the past year. I made this video for builds, um, and I just kind of wanted to go over that. Um, BL3 has changed a lot, um, new tech has been found, people are very good good at finding this stuff and I wanted to share this because this is the strongest thing built fastest clearing uh, it is insane how good this build is and I love being a part of making this type of build and helping clear it this is in the community Zane docks and um, it is a great docks uh, it's also in Vault Hunter Hub which is just a community resource for everything Borderlands um, and it is a great resource. I'll have those linked down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this insane build. All right, and for the gear here, we have a bunch of weapons that we can use. Um, these weapons are all really good. Um, and they just clear insanely well some not as good as others some that are only viable because of hustler racer which is really fun because it gives you a reason to use these weapons and just expands borderlands viable weapon um i'm just gonna like list them all off um because i don't have all of them and i have a list from the zane and game build doc so if you want to find it it's there as well um so here we go it's the yellow cake the globe trotter the creamer the shocker and the major kong the Jericho, the Recursion, the Critical Thug, Shrieking Devil, the Nukem, the Freeman, the Anarchy, the Red Eye Rocket Pod, the Gargoyle, the Rebound, the Tunguska, the Scoville, the Chomper, which is a blue quest reward, and then the Zuka, which is a COV non unique launcher. These are all really good. Um, shout out to a bunch of people, the rest of the community, for helping find these all. Um, it definitely expanded a bunch in the list. Um, yeah, these are all really good weapons. And what you want is ASE Splash on these. As you'll see, I should have them on all of these here of what I use. Um, so there's that there. And then just some back off weapons I have is the Free Radical. Um, this is just from Moose Street. And this is for the clone weapons. Clone weapons are just kind of basic, whatever you want. Um, Sandok will be the best, um, but you could use like a Plague Bear if you wanted to, um, Free Radical or Plasma Coil. Plasma Coil is also a really good option. Uh, so those are stuff that you can try out. Um, Anarchy is also really good, so it's good for you and um, Clone, and Clone will build up your stacks. Um, and then here for the shield, the main shield we use um, is the Inferno Wish, because it'll roll with Amp and give an extra projectile. But that could be changed up with red suit. Um, this all just kind of depends on the weapon that you're using. Mainly I used Infernal Wish. Um, red suit with amp is really good as well. Um, Transformer. Now these are if you need rad and shock immunity or else you just use Infernal Wish. Stinger you can use for um, cut purse ways instead of like doing a launch pad. Um, an old god would do good because the um, elemental bonus will double dip through a racer. Now, Revolter won't do that good on here because the bonus element doesn't do anything special for this field. The only thing it would be nice with is Absorb, but the bonus element would most likely kill us, so we don't want to do that. So, for Absorb, we use Infernal Wish, which in gameplay from um, the beginning of the video, you'll see that I use Absorb a bunch with the Creamer. Um, you could use it with some other stuff. Um, but mainly I use it for creamer so you can just spam it as fast as possible You don't need to do absorb and amp works great But to be the fastest clearing with the creamer you want to use infernal wish with absorb Now the enchant you'll see here is I use uh, applied terror on action skill and this is so we get this v1 bonus uh, On this terror anoint on my mesmer this will go through eraser and I we don't have any v1 So this will be a pure bolt for our damage um, and then Mesmer, this is for aggro draw that clone will throw. And then also, it's Piss is also an option for clone to throw for a debuff that'll also go through Eraser. 
Hustler is the main class mod. This is part of the name of the build because this is the build. Um, there's a bunch of options for passives. Um, the go-to thing that you must have on a Hustler is the E Splash Damage Radius Passive. You need this for this build to work well. Um, it just opens up how far and often Hustler can crit um, or well your gun can crit for Hustler. Um, so that's what you need. It is noticeably different without having this passive. Now other things you could have is weapon uh, damage type. Uh, that is V2. That will go through racer. Mag size, it can be really nice. Or splash damage, because splash damage will go through uh, eraser. Um, as you'll see, I have different ones. Now mag size is nice if you don't want to use a mag size passive. Um, I remember doing math a while ago, and I think going heavy weapon damage is better than going splash here, like perfectly, but I didn't really remember, because um, you cannot have heavy weapon damage and mag size on the same passive. I messed up when I was save editing, and I put both of them, because toboggan passes are weird. Um, so ideally, you'd want either heavy or weapon type or max size and then area of effect damage because this is the same reason for the um, splash radius passive and then you'll want um, it in the second or th third slot to get the radius boost um, and then move speed or action skill cooldown rate for the um, third passive it doesn't really matter move speed will technically be more damage but cooldown rate is also really nice so it's not the end of the world there um, and then we use mainly toboggan because this amp damage will help with a racer for our initial shot um, And then elemental projector can work really nice with certain weapons because if you're constantly dotted Then you'll get this boost that'll go through racer and then of course cut purse We've got a static charge with the stinger or just a cut purse launch pad to slam um, So Yeah, that's it for the gear Here in the skill tree, uh, we'll start with blue tree because uh, I think I changed up a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Violent speed, um, violent momentum, basic Zane stuff. Um, salvation, um, seeing red, and good misfortune. Now, the stuff that can move around here is you want at least one in playing dirty, really. Um, that's the most you want at the minimum for that extra projectile. And then you can put points between cool hand, cold war, and playing dirty. Um, if you wanted no chance of being slowed, then you would get rid of cold war. Um, you'll lose swap speed and that bonus crowd damage, but you can lose not having it um, and put that in playing dirty. Um, you could take out cool hand for war, cold war, and playing dirty. It just all depends on your personal play style. Um, and then here for red tree, we go to clone capstone um, to give clone our gun. Um, here we go borrowed time, pray mutinous for the mag size you need this mag size and um mag size on your hustler to get a three mag creamer or you get mag size on your toboggan and nothing else and you'll have the three mag for um creamer to have the boost um so yeah borrowed time for actual duration donny brook uh duct tape mod um for the uh slash immunity um fractal frags are Clone can throw grenades for debuff or aggro relief. Quick breather for clone survivability. Old you if we need to blow up clone. Um, if we're down. Um, Supersonic man for move speed. Pocket full grenades to bring back grenades we use from boom enhance. Because boom enhance boosts clone. And then trick of the light is something you don't really need. Because if you get hit by it, you will cry yourself. Which won't damage you, but it'll slow you, which is kind of annoying. You can put those points in duct tape mod, and it would still be really well. Or like a ghost for some uh, ignoring bullet stuff. Um, and then, of course, double barrel for giving clone our gun. We go which one's real for your clone to take aggro, and then doppelbanger if we need to blow up our clone to reposition it. And then we have nothing in green tree. I didn't mention the hustler points and skills um, because it doesn't really matter. I like adrenaline, but you don't need it. Um, any skill bonus will work and then here on purple tree we go deja vu for a chance of getting back our ammo this does take from reserves and not just free ammo but it's still really nice to have um, commitment for the cooldown uh, fugitive so we can sprint and shoot headsman's hand is for crit damage for when we crit uh, this does not 
this does not boost the crit from um, Hustler because it is fake crit, so it does not get crit boost. Um, domino effect for the fire rate and mainly the reload speed, and then Eraser because of that double dipping. Um, Eraser gets V1, V2, Elemental, Splash, um, probably missing some other stuff. Uh, debuff, um, it is on the um, Zane document and it's all listed there. So if you want the full breakdown of all that, all everything Hustler Racer related, it is all in the, in the Zane doc, which will again be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. This is an insane build and it is my most favorite build that I've ever done and the strongest thing I've ever made. Um, this is just insane and I hope you guys liked it as much as I do. And this is just so much has grown since my last build video of this. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. The save file of this will be found in the description uh, with the Discord link. You can find it in my Discord. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.